Hi guys, Ed Shed here. Now, as you all know, we do do occasionally other things. And uh, occasionally, as you were probably aware, my daughter managed to destroy her mini gearbox, uh, which has caused us no end problem because we've been able to get hold of one. And uh, thanks to a very nice gentleman, good mate, who uh, gets a few old scrappers, he's come up with this. Now, this is flooded. So we're assuming the gearbox was all right. The rest of the car was incredibly good. He obviously sells bits and pieces of it, which is uh, fine, but the problem is I've got to strip it out. Now, it's easier to do it at my own place than it is to do it in the mud. So we've just uh, brought her here, so we're going to take her to pieces, and she's now here. Now, the purpose of my dilemma, which uh, no doubt you'll understand, is because we've only got the old train over and the van. And uh, we have developed that typical problem that everyone seems to suffer from. I don't know whether you've heard of this problem, but when you look down there, or whether you can see it, there's a nut right down there. And that whole aluminium thread is going to spline, and the whole spline is gone. So what's happening is, we're not selecting any gears. And uh, it is absolutely just annoying and frustrating. So it's just gone, like literally. So we've got and it was, uh, my daughter drove the kids to school so I blame her but it, I, I actually drove it last and it, I wasn't having a problem so I don't know whether it just hold it out and then just went but anyway so the, the two jobs today are one to get that aluminium thing off and try and work out what the hell it's called to try and get one ordered or bought because obviously we need this van running and uh, two is to try and get some of the gearbox out of that thing out there so yeah a few little jobs be interesting whether you enjoy it I don't know but uh, I'll keep you informed on that one let's hope we can make some out of it but yeah as you can see down there you can just about make it out it's behind the things a 30 mil nut and if you get hold of that you can move it up and down I'll give another view when I've cleared it off a bit anyway talk to you soon Dude. right so uh, hopefully to get one of these out you know I'm hoping I, I haven't looked at the thatch and book but I'm going to take the front I, I, anyway long story won't go into that but I'm going to rip all that down, uh, the engine's bugging anyway because it's flooded, I'm going to let it drop down and hopefully if I've got the bottom board joint off I can get that drive shaft out, I just don't want it, uh, you know, it's been depolluted, um, I just don't want it to get it all over me, so uh, whatever, if there's any little residue of brake fluid or anything, still in it, so we'll see, but um, yeah, all going well, it'll be a better, it'll be alright on the night as they say, and we hope, as Tupac would say, we'll see better days so as I said guys that's it mini, mini, mini gearbox removal I'm doing it outside in the rain because obviously look can't show you but anyway um, so at the minute we have to say that uh, that what we're doing is we're going to have a little bit of stuff copped on one of our other projects and uh, I can just tell you that minis are not fun and I'm not fond of looking forward to the journey back neither I think what it does is I think it will swing round is what I'm hoping and drop down but if it doesn't well then heaven knows and the other one I hadn't even started on the other gearbox so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that once I get this one out so anyway that's it for now guys like and subscribe follow me back and remember don't buy a mini alright guys that's it Edgehead on the mini gearbox. Now, let me just say something to you. And um, obviously, you guys should hear by my tone of my voice. I've had a gut full of this, and I've I've, I've decided to resort to the my my friend, my friend. Me was it me? Mon Chu, Mon V. If you know what that is, comment please, because I know what it is. Anyway, so what I'd like to say is, this is not an easy gearbox to get out. Is a nightmare. There's there's bolts down behind the starter. You have to take the heat shield off through there. You have to go through there with a socket to get the heat shield. Then you push the heat shield. It pushes on a rubber grommet, which is here. Then you get the top bolt. But the underneath bolt, you got to go from underneath. Now, obviously, I was thinking, well, if I could let it hang on the exhaust, it would come forward. It hasn't done, and I am so f off with it. So. My mission is to get it out tonight, whether it, it whether I or I want to or I don't want to, because it's coming out. So, obviously, in the gearbox tr trilogy, you guys are, 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 are putting it on. This one is 
going to be out tonight but I also took out the quadrant off of the old T5 alright now I will show you the quadrant of the T5 that's what goes wrong can you see in there that is a great lump of heavy metal and that's got a spline in there that spline has now left the building which meant this flopping around sometimes it selected gears sometimes it didn't that one came off easy the run and plunger that were there I lost down because I didn't take too much out so I need a new one of those so I'm going to clean this up get the part number off it and hopefully tomorrow or no yeah well, I might do it tonight actually. I might try and see if I can buy one off flea bay the, the rumour has it they're about 40 quid so you know and that's a low mileage fan I've actually done 120,000 miles so I'm hoping that that'll sort this one so there it is that's what was wrong with it the nut was couldn't go any tighter because the splines have absolutely destroyed themselves so we know and, I, and the little bit of thing I've got to find so, look at that that's what it took to get the bleeding gearbox out what a fight honestly and I'm not looking back forward to the journey back neither and I'll tell you what that is without doubt one of those I'll tell you what if you bought a million in what you said oh my start motor's packed up they would have you over bend you over and do you without any KY jelly because I'll tell you why that job must be horrendous and that is what's on the list I'm going to get the part number off it and if I can buy one of those which supposedly is about 40 euros 40 quid then I'm going to be sorting my T4 out, T5 out but in the meantime I've got a mission on Monday and my mission on Monday is to go and get a BMW so uh, you'll be coming with me and uh, you might enjoy it you might hate every minute of it but either way you're coming and it's uh, part of the next project if we manage to get the next project done but anyway we're going to try anyway and we're not going to give up because I'm not giving up because you know why time's precious waste it wisely and uh, if you have a look over there guys E type C plus 2 looking good looking good Riz anyway so uh, as I said guys we've uh, got the gearbox we've got the van strip we've got the bit we need we've found uh, we've got the oil checked we've got the brake lights working we found a bottle of drink which is one we didn't know we had so we're drinking that because we didn't drink for a couple of days we had a bit of a night off because of that Covid reaction and uh, she's going this old girl this girl the old V double is going to pick up this new BMW which uh, I need to get as many straps as I can the only thing that's really a pain in the ass about my VW is I ain't got a radio which is really annoying because when you're in there it is so tediously boring listening to the thing drone away but anyway don't worry about it so uh, as I said I hope you uh, enjoyed some of that it's a bit different from the old E-type crap and uh, the T4 as you can see died there it died T5 it died right there with no gears and it hasn't got any gears now so it can't go anywhere until I fix it the Mini as I said is dead there and the other Mini's up the drive but I'll tell you what I'm not looking forward to putting that bloody gearbox back in because I'll tell you one thing I said a new clutch in it so it's been out recently so I'm going to say something to you guys that is a bloody hard job and I wouldn't want to, you couldn't pay me enough to want to do this unless it was because I haven't got a choice otherwise my daughter's going to wreck my Range Rover next I, I, I have to do a clutch in the Range Rover or a gearbox in the Range Rover and I'm not doing it so and she won't drive her Alpine which is over there I said she could drive that but she won't drive it she's got years of a years road tax but she won't drive it because she says it's not trendy enough so at the minute we're going to say that uh this thing's got to go to Newcastle under the line or somewhere. Everything else is looking good. And the Range Rover could be next on the list to get a paint job like the old E-Type stuff. Because that's only been a couple of days. and I think we could probably do that Range Rover a lot quicker. So, talk to you soon. Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different than the, than the bloody 2 plus 2 dramas. And uh, this is like a T5 gearbox uh, selector bracket spline mechanism problem T4 brake light out 
mini gearbox out. I hate the bloody things. So, as I said, follow me around on Instagram, smash the like button. If you enjoyed watching it, keep watching. If you didn't, well, look away, look away, Gypsy Land. Talk to you soon. Bye.